Nuclear regulators in Japan are trying to learn from the mistakes of the past. They're introducing a set of stricter safety guidelines for plants across the country. The new guidelines from Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority, or NRA, oblige operators to take steps to deal with severe accidents. Up until now, such measures have been voluntary. The guidelines ask operators to draw up emergency scenarios for stronger earthquakes and tsunami. The regulators will start receiving applications for restarting plants on July the 8th, the day the guidelines are scheduled to take effect. The operators of six plants are preparing to apply to go back online. The regulators say they'll need at least six months to screen their applications. But power company executives may have to wait longer than that. They'll also need to get the approval of the local governments that host the plants. The only two operating reactors in Japan are expected to pass new safety guidelines and stay online this summer. The new guidelines will take effect in July. They oblige utilities to strengthen measures against serious accidents like the one that occurred in Fukushima two years ago. The Nuclear Regulation Authority submitted a draft report on its safety assessment of the number three and number four reactors at the Oe plant in Fukui Prefecture. The report says the reactors will not be seriously affected by a major earthquake, but it adds that the geological strata underneath the site are not fully known. It urges the utility to improve some emergency measures, including the on-site emergency response facility. The report concludes that the two reactors are unlikely to immediately cause a serious safety problem. The NRA plans to compile a final report after meeting next Monday with officials from Kansai Electric Power Company. The OE reactors are scheduled to go offline in September for mandatory checks. Some residents of the town are cautious about the safety of nuclear power. I hope they'll operate safely because any problems will directly affect our lives. The people of the town had no say in whether there should be reactors in Ori. But I have strong doubts about nuclear energy because many problems have occurred since the Fukushima accidents. Oi Mayor Shinobu Tokioka is confident that the reactors will be able to stay online this summer. Now, a new breakwater has been completed at a nuclear plant on the Sea of Japan coast. It's designed to prevent damage from large tsunami waves. Reporters were invited to get a first-hand look at new safety features at the facility. Tokyo Electric Power Company built the breakwater at the Kashiwazaki Kariwa plant in Niigata Prefecture to meet new safety guidelines. TEPCO officials say the 15-meter breakwater can protect the reactor buildings even if hit by tsunami waves as large as the ones on March 11, 2011. They also let reporters watch the work to set up filter vents at the plant. The system can release pressure in containment vessels while limiting the emission of radioactive substances. The operator hopes to win local understanding for the safety measures so it can quickly apply to restart the reactors.